This is Bogart Man Radio, and this is the Lunchtime Buzz. Where today, we are joined with none other than Baraka Football Club Executive Marketing Director Richard Lerato Mashabani in the building. How are you doing, sir? Ah, I'm doing very good, sir. Uh, thanks for having me. I'm so honored to be here at Bogart Radio Station. <laughs> nah, thank you for being here, sir. It's an honor to have you here and uh, giving us a little bit of a lowdown on what's happening uh, with the football club and also the league and everything else that's happening. And uh, of course, today I am chilling uh, with Karabo, a special guest in the studio. How are you doing, Karabo? I'm blessed. Blessed. Uh, always a pleasure being here. And uh, I think it's going to be quite an interesting uh, conversation with the executive of uh, Baroque FC. <laughs> nah, definitely, man. It's a very interesting one. Uh, of course, our uh, Rob's on the side there. Uh, of course, uh, we're just going to begin with a lot um, that uh, obviously we want to know. Uh, Mr. Mashavani, uh, tell us a little bit more. Um, obviously, with the establishment of the Baroque Club in uh, 2007. Since then, how has it been? How's it been? No, uh, honestly speaking, it's been a very good journey. Mm-hmm. Uh, Baroka started in 2007, and uh, mm-hmm. we played for uh, ABC League for three times. I remember we mm-hmm. <laughs> we lost uh, every game in the finals until we got promoted to NFD, and it was a very uh, experience to to play in the NFD that time. And uh, though it was tough, you know. Uh, running the team without sponsors and then we we, we fortunately get uh, mm-hmm. Dover as one of the sponsors and it helps the team to grow then we get promoted to 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 psl uh, which was absa before it ch- changed to dstv then mm-hmm. from there mm-hmm. we we struggle a bit you know first season it was difficult for us you know with young players there uh, remember the first season we survived in the playoffs. We were number 15. We went to play for playoffs with uh, Black Lopard and, and, and Milano, the one in Cape Town. It was a great journey though. From there we moved to number 14, going up up and down, up and down, until we went to NetBank, uh, Telecom Cup, you know. Because oh, most, yes. most people, they know Baroka due to NetBank Cup. <laughs> yes, yeah, definitely, when, man. When we were killing so many big teams, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Swallows and Kenya yeah. Chiefs, yeah. yeah. Most players, they, 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 they make their name from there. You know, people start realizing that they were the so-called chain killers. Even today, we of course, think, yes. yeah, when we play Chiefs, we play Pirates and Sundowns, they struggle, you know. <laughs> so it's one of uh, those things. Uh, we went to Telcom Cup. Uh, we won uh, Telcom Cup for the first time, and then we became the first team in our province to uh, win the major trophy. And then we didn't just pick any okay, team. Okay, uh, yeah, the Telcom Cup. Which year was that? It was 2018. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, remember, we we beat Sundowns, uh, we beat Vets, and we went to beat uh, Orlando Pirates in the in, in, in the final. You know, it was a very good experience, and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. exposure for the team. You know, so people start recognizing that we are not in the PSL by mistake. Mm. You know, then up until this season, I think it's a sixth season in the PSL. Uh, we never get relegated. It's a very good journey. It's a very good journey, though it's tough now due to to COVID. Oh, wonderful stuff, man! Wonderful stuff. Hey, man, uh, it's it's a, we're gonna hear a lot of things about you here, man. And um, I know, I know. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Sir. I know you touched on COVID uh, slightly. Yeah. Just a quick one from my end. How has COVID obviously affected affected your planning and your management for for the staff, for the team uh, as a whole? I know COVID has had a big impact on sports. Overall, now you as a, as a club, as, as a fairly new club, going through this kind of pan- pandemic, how have you guys had to readjust and to readjust your planning and your management? Yeah, being honest, when COVID started, we thought maybe it's just only two, three months thing. You know, I remember the league has to stop due to COVID, mm. and then after uh, f- seven months, the league has to resume, and then there was so called a uh, bubble. Mm. Uh, all the teams need to go to the bubble. Uh, to finish their games and then remember it was all 32 teams it was NFD team it was a PSL teams and then you do that from your own pocket you know you still have to pay players you still have to pay uh, the accommodation at the hotel and then we're there for a month you need to do the mm-hmm. test before you go to the COVID. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it affected the most of most of the teams in, in a DSTV and Atlet Africa 
uh, due to most teams they don't have sponsors and then you need to rely on gate takings and there's no supporters you go to play in the empty stadium and players they're not used to play in the empty stadium so it was it was difficult for for each and every team you know and then to a smaller teams like baroka others they, mm -hmm. it was a bit of advantage because of we know that when you play sundowns or chiefs or pirates mm. on in a bubble you know uh, we we not used to play in a lot of supporters, you know, mm. and then those ones they 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 have supporters, so you can kill them in an empty yeah. stadium. <laughs> so it, <laughs> okay, yeah. it works on our advantage at some point playing in an empty stadium. Hence, you saw that we we killed, we drew with Chiefs, we mm. beat Sundowns in the bubble, if you remember very well, and we drew with Pirates. And I remember Chiefs the last game when we played Chiefs, they were supposed to win the league, yeah. and then we I took it, yeah we <laughs> took it <laughs> we took it from them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so financially, it affected most of the team. And then I'll talk about us, uh, just that our chairman was very smart, you know, uh, in mm -hmm. terms of how he ran things. He mm -hmm. planned it, he knew that uh, this thing might come, and then he didn't want to cut off the salaries of the players. Because if you remember, most teams that I cannot mention names now, they were cutting salaries for, for, for their players. And then they had to, even if in, in Europe it was like that, mm -hmm. the so called big teams, they were negotiating with big players that are earning more so that they can at least reduce their salary, cut off. And then, you know, uh, you cannot live with half of your salary mm -hmm. because of now you used to uh, get so much and then plan ahead mm -hmm. of other things you know so there were no more bonuses you know <laughs> so yeah. such, such things they, 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 there's a lot that happened but unfortunately with uh, fortunately with our chairman he he planned it very well he knew that this thing is coming let me just make sure that uh, I cut a lot of things so that I can pay the staff, I can pay the, 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 the players, you know. So the other thing with our team, we don't have many players like your so-called Chiefs and Lance Pirates. I was quite so limited, mm -hmm. you know, and then even the payroll was so manageable. So hence, you, you never had any stories uh, regarding that to Baroka Football Club. Oh, okay, wonderful stuff. Uh, you've spoken about your chairman, Gurushin mm -hmm. Patel. Mm -hmm. A certain, I think he's more of a visionary more than anything else. Uh, first and foremost, how is it for you working under him? And secondly, uh, I was able to visit the village, one of the best villages I think will ever come out of South African football. Uh, how, how, how big a pride is that for Barocco to have something as special as that? Uh, for me, I will start with the first uh, question. Uh, for me to work under Mr. Mpatele, it, it he has given me a lot of opportunity. You know, I remember the first time when we met uh, because I was uh, my former footballer myself. <laughs> you know, I play in Europe most of the time. And <laughs> then I retired, and then I told myself, "Look, I'm tired with football." You know, I took the FNB uh, food and beverage industry. Yeah, I work under Sun International. You know, as a food and beverage manager. Then there I also get tired due to night shifts, you know, sometimes you start your shift at <laughs> yeah. 3 o'clock, sometimes yeah. you go there, they call it graveyard, mm -hmm. you, at 12 o'clock, <laughs> you know. Then I said, no, look, I want to go back to football, you know, because I studied sports science and sports management. Then I met Mr. Mpatele at one of the games. We were sitting to just talking football and then... He said to me, look, I want you to come and to work with me. <coughs> then I worked with him. He gave me a lot of opportunity. You know, I grow very mm -hmm. well, and then I see his visionary. I said, look, I, this is a man that I want to work with. You know, it's just me and him that we're running the team. It's just two of us, mm -hmm. you know. And then I remember before lockdown started, we, we, we spoke down to one of our sponsors, which was Global. And then we said, look, we want to plan to build a village, you know, uh, because of when we play at home we need to camp you know and then you, you you go to a hotel you pay so much amount for one night you camp there you eat there you go to the stadium and then it, it, it's just a lot of money mm -hmm. then you you need your own accommodation it's, it's different to other villages like your Tuoro Corp and, and Nachiron right. yeah they don't have uh, uh, accommodation just fields and, and offices and, 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 and train, facilities. train facilities so with us it, 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 it we started with the grounds first train facility and then we move to the uh, accommodation and then it works very well because of if you look now we only buying food when the team is camping you know we, mm -hmm. we don't pay any accommodation you know so it's less for us we save a lot of money mm -hmm. I can say we were paying like uh, 45k a night at one of the hotel in Polokwane 
and then now we 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 spending like 10k for the food for the night mm -hmm. and then it's good for us because of we can even be there for three days you know you can be there for as much as you want you know so it's, it's good even if when we want to assess players from other countries or other pl places they can come there stay there and then yeah there's a, a ground you know so with with him some particular his regionary is very well and then the, now it's the one of the best villages yes, that, yeah. <coughs> that that mm -hmm. we have i remember last of last week when there was an anc rally there at our village uh, the cheaper united ddc they didn't have an accommodation around Polokwane because all the ANC okay. they took mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the accommodation there. We managed to accommodate them at our village, you know. So it's, it's a, yeah. no, 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 nothing for free. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a good, it's a good investment because yeah. you, uh, there is not only only uh, 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 cheaper, you know. Tier sporting also they came play Polokwane City. They stay at our village when we're not there. We're in in Cape Town, you know. So you can look at. On the other side, that this could be a good business. When Baroka is not playing home, other teams mm -hmm. come in that side. Then you can accommodate them. Then at least there's a revenue coming because of now still this COVID is still affecting us so much. We don't we play in empty stadiums. There's no uh, a, a generating income. You know. Oh, brilliant stuff. No, that's uh, that's a very good route to go. I mean, obviously your high your high end European clubs have followed the same the same system of creating club houses and creating club accommodation. It, it, I think also in the current economic climate, it, it, it eases on the pressure of, of having to release fines unnecessarily, mm. which, is a point, which is a great point that you mentioned. With regards to another point that you mentioned, your telecom, your telecom victory in 2018, mm. the net bank, net bank results or net bank fixtures were, re, were released. And you guys play Stellenbosch. Stellenbosch are currently top eight of the log. Uh, what are your ambitions? Do you do you see yourselves becoming more killing bigger giants this year, or, or where where are we looking at Baroka this year? Uh, honestly, NetBank, we also want to proceed far, uh, but now as you see, our current status on the uh, on the log is mm. not is not well. Mm. You know, uh, we want to improve our position you know uh, on the log and then we can concentrate on on on, on net on net bank so net bank is just a knockout to yeah, we, yeah it, it, it's it's so pointless for us to want to go far with the net bank and get relegated mm -hmm. in the psl mm -hmm. you know but we are not undermining stellenbosch because we know stellenbosch they've got good good team good coach and then the, <laughs> the funny part is that their coach at uh, coastal he uh, compact cup uh, mm -hmm. he's coaching our seven players there yeah. and we, 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 we yeah <laughs> and we're playing them on the on the 11th of of of, of february so mm -hmm. obviously now he's studying yeah, yeah, <laughs> the <yeah>. players <laughs> so it's it's it's, it's stellenbosch is a very good team but we we net bank is not our first priority at the moment mm -hmm. we're looking at the lock mm -hmm. so that we can improve our our status on the lock because we don't want to get relegated and go to let africa um, <coughs> I'm, i'll assure you that let africa is one of the difficult yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, league yeah. now you see most of mm -hmm. the psl team that got relegated now they're struggling yeah, yeah. to come back now yeah, i can talk about cosmos when I'm last the cosmos got relegated polokwane city is there mm -hmm. you know Lopat now is struggling, they're fighting for relegation there. You know, it's, it's not easy, so we don't want to be in that situation. Rather, we we move to a better position, and then if we proceed with NetBank, it's a bonus for us, you know, but all, definitely we'll want to win, because the more we proceed, the more money comes, Yeah, you know. Of course, obviously yeah. more money, more confidence for the players also. I exactly. Mean, it's, it's game time. Yeah. I think we spent two, three months without football. And obviously with the DSTV Compact Cup, Cup mm -hmm. it's given a lot of French players an opportunity to get fit and to mm -hmm. play. No, um, true. Obviously with these Cups and with your ambitions <coughs> to stay up floats on the log, I'm assuming everyone's quite geared up and eager to to get the system going. Yeah, not true because of uh, uh, most of the players now are not playing. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got only one player that is playing, Richard Mbulu, is playing for Malawi. Uh, he's the only player that is, is, is at least is getting game time, mm -hmm. and uh, including this one, seven of them uh, playing for Compact Cup. And then now you're playing Stellenbosch on the 11th, and on the 14th you're playing Sundown. So you see how difficult yes, it is. Yes, exactly. Now. So you cannot go all out against Stellenbosch and then want to come and lose against mm -hmm. Sundown. So obviously you want to collect maximum points against Sundowns or take a point against Sundowns, even a point against a team like Sundowns. Yeah. It's cool. It's three yeah. points. <laughs> we're looking at it as three points yeah. as opposed to one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you've already spoken about uh, how important it is for you guys to stay in this league. And uh, there mm -hmm. was a positional switch 
between the two coaches, Coach uh, Toka as okay. well as uh, uh, Holoko. Uh, how, how do both these men take it? Because obviously, for one, it's a form of a demotion, to be quite honest. Mm -hmm. So how was it for both men? And how did the conversation start in terms of saying, one is going down to the DDC <laughs> and one is going to the top division. No, I remember it was a very difficult one. Uh, I had a meeting, a long meeting with my chairman after playing against Chipa at, at home. Uh, I think we spoke uh, for hours. The, the men can talk. <laughs> yeah, I can I can take you back. I remember there was a game when we played Black Lopat. We lost 2-0. Mm -hmm. The game started at half past three, finished around uh, half past five. Mm -hmm. Then we went to a change room. We left change room at 12 midnight. Mm -hmm. The man is been talking Aish. and then the phones are <laughs> yeah. ringing, families are looking for us, you mm -hmm. know. He was talking, the man can talk. We, we, we spoke about four hours after the game of Chipa and then uh, fortunately the uh, DDC was playing Swallows, mm -hmm. they won 4-2 and we lost against Chipa. And then the thing with Baroka, uh, we've been lost, lo all the game that we lost, the team were uh, bottom of us, mm -hmm. you know. So it what is chairman so much that the teams that you're supposed to win against mm. they're beating you because if you beat by a team that is bottom you they can win they take you down mm. unlike mm. maybe if at least you can take a draw they still you, you, yeah. you, you know mm. so uh, after chipa came then we, we had a conversation he said look uh Holoko is doing very well because of it was his first time at ddc remember after we part ways for almost three 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 years and then he came back then he took over uh, uh, ddc then he done well, then the DDC was number three, we were number 16. Mm -hmm. And then he said to me, look, Richard, I want to make some changes. And then I said, Jermaine, are you sure? It's, it's your business if you, you mm -hmm. want to do what is best for, for the team. You know, because at the end of the day, you're still saving others' job, you know, mm -hmm. unlike you no know, firing talker. Then he said, no, I want Holoko to come take over and Matsumela to take to go and uh, to DDC. And I said, no, he's not going to go alone. He'll, t he'll take his technical because obviously it's him and the technical yeah. team I'll only leave assistant coach Vincent Kobola yeah. and then that side uh, I'll promote uh, the goalkeeper coach and then uh, uh, assistant coach of uh, 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 Holoko mm -hmm. and then together they must come to to to, to swing a team and then we started with uh, mm -hmm. Golden Arrows we lost 32 I remember before half time it was 2 0, we came back, then it was 2 2, and then Golden Arrow scored a penalty in the last mid nine minutes. They, they play well. We never scored two goals, you know, uh, the whole season. And then with Holoko, they started, you know, sometimes it's, it's not being a good coach, it's a relationship that you have with the players. Yes, yeah. I can refer you to Fatu Davis when he was at Marie's back. He was not a good coach, mm. but the relationship, because yes. the players are also women being, but how you talk to them, how you treat them, they will fight for you. Mm. They can make you fail players trust me if yeah. they don't want you players, <laughs> they, players they, they can talk and say look we're not going to yeah. win four games mm -hmm. no then yeah. not gonna win four games then they we get fired they bring another coach then performing. yeah they yeah. start performing and you ask yourself what's wrong with that coach yeah. you yeah. know so they they fight him for holoko because he has uh, three draws two loss and and and, and one win mm -hmm. you know it's not a bad result for him you know so with with Matsimer and other technical the good thing is that they still have a job because of with this in industry as a coach you lose the job and then it's not going to be easy for you to get mm -hmm. uh, a job somewhere else you know i uh, know that's brilliant man uh not to take too much of your time uh director we uh we just i just want to ask you a question about uh, obviously a lot of football clubs partnering up uh, sponsorship and uh, so forth there's obviously a lot of uh, football clubs who are partnering up partnering up with a lot of um clothing brands uh what do you think of that is that a good move or it's not a good move uh, being honest, it's a good move. You know, mm -hmm. I remember when I spoke to my chairman uh, regarding regarding Bogart because he started wearing Bogart. Yes, uh, you know. <laughs> uh, I was actually going to ask also what's <laughs> what's the, the relationship with uh, Bogart as well. Okay, uh, yeah, okay. Then, then uh, he started wearing Bogart. Then people, you know, we being honest, even myself, uh, I was not aware how pocket this big big hit is you know mm -hmm. and then how nice clothes you know you can see it see it but you just put a blind eye you know 
And then after that, realizing with the chairman, I said, no, this guy's a good, nice stuff, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, chairman, <laughs> someone is, ah, no, yes. it's expensive, it's expensive. <laughs> 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 then uh-huh. we once went to Mall of the North, and then we see the clothes and everything. And then yes. he said to me, no, I'm going to Chobek. I said, I'm a chairman, you always buy things there. Well, why don't you approach the guys maybe for the executive? Because of most mm-hmm. teams, in, even in Europe, you know, I, I know one team in South Africa, which was Cape Town City, have the clothing brand spo- uh, sponsor mm. yes, where they were sponsoring yes. executive and then they end up sponsoring the club they give them the jeans and then they're wearing mm. with uh, their t-shirts when they go to the game it, it's nice you know uh, the italian clubs they do that yeah. you know they've got their brand and you can yeah. see when the all the players wearing suits you mm-hmm. know yeah. it's it, it's nice uh, you know you bring an, an a fashion in in in, in football mm-hmm. you know so with 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 so Bogart, did, they, did they want your shirt at the PSL? <laughs> a, lo- a lot, eh? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> yeah. I remember yes. when we, we have the executive uh, meeting here, yeah, the, the board of governors meeting uh, in October. Uh, we came here, we got suits. You know, mm-hmm. everybody was talking mm-hmm. about Baroka. You know, guys, they, they are wearing. They're no, on point. <laughs> yeah, you know, so people now start recognizing Bokat much. And then, you know, it's, 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 it's two brands now. People, when they see Bokat, they see Baroka. Mm-hmm. And the people, when, you know, it's yes, other way around. Exactly. It's, it's, a, it's a good, it's a good uh, 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 feeling for us. And then it, it, it put us on the map now. People respect us. You know, smaller things, you think, no, ah, Bokat is just a smaller thing. To cheese and then pirates now, people, they asking, no, oh, hi, when you go to Bogart get us something. Mm. No. Yes, exactly. You know, get your own <laughs> own <laughs> 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 yeah. You, you yes, know, uh-huh. I, I know uh, Mam Kizi, uh, when we play them in December, uh, me and the chairman were wearing suits, our, our green jackets, and then she came and said, oh, you guys, what's this? I said, Bogarty. I said, no, I want to go there. I said, no, they don't have lady <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <You know? laughs> of course, yes. Yeah. They don't have lady stuff. And I said, no, I want to buy for, 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 for my technical team, you know. Mm-hmm. It's, it's good. And it, honestly speaking, it's good because of, can you imagine coach stay wearing, mm-hmm. uh, you know, Bogarty shirt or a T-shirt, you know, because it, it's allowed, you know, yeah. for executive. Exposure even if well. we yeah, even if we use Monflay as a kit, mm-hmm. we not sign hundred percent sponsorship. Yes, exactly. We are entitled to executive and title to mm. wear whatever they want to wear you know even our coach now it's what we want to take him to that direction that he must coach wearing a pocket uh, uh, clothing mm-hmm. you know so it's, it's it's a good for exposure and people they will start respecting us you know <laughs> yeah oh, that's good man yeah 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 man hey uh obviously the time he's flying we don't want to take much of your time so what can we expect uh in the future from uh baraka the foot foot block football club yeah uh firstly we want to save the status. Mm-hmm. We know the position that we are is not a comfortable position. And then the, the, the worst thing is that we're starting the league now with Mamelodi Sundowns. And yes, and yes. yes that you one. know, uh, a win from Mamelodi Sundowns, obviously, it will it will motivate us. It will push us out to the next game against uh, Skukuni mm-hmm. here in Jobek. And then it will be nice at least having four or five people from Pokat to come in. Watch <laughs> that game. <laughs> you know, we'll be there. Yeah, we'll definitely be. we're going to be there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. No, you'll man. get the invite. You know, it will yes. be nice. <laughs> um, just last question from my end. Uh, there's quite a few clubs that are based in Limpopo. Obviously, it's yourself, it's, your, it's Baraka, there's, there's Black Leopards, uh, Chakuma, Bulukwane City, and Magezi FC. They're all those clubs are based in one region. But with re- putting this question with regards to development of football, what are you guys doing as, 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 uh, as Premier League clubs or as, as uh, Glad Africa clubs? To ensure that the Limpopo province gets quality or brings out quality players and football is properly developed in the in the province. Yeah, uh, <coughs> honestly speaking, if you check our TDC, uh, 89, 90 percent of the players are from Limpopo. Mm. You know, it's mm-hmm. it's, it's not good. You find that you develop a 16 year old player from KZN to come in mm. in your province and then play there. You know. We we're not against it. If it's a senior team, it's okay. But from the mm-hmm. development, you need to development you develop from your area. You know, <coughs> it's good that way because of the boy can get promoted to a senior team, and then also one boy can imagine how many uh, supporters could bring at the mm-hmm. stadium. Mm-hmm. I remember when we promoted Mahopa, he was playing from MDC. Now he's a national team player, he's a big player. Yeah. Evidence. Uh, 
he brought three buses from his school, his village, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. and then Bernard Bubete as well. He the captain of the DDC, the DDC team, yeah. you know, um, Pachele, you know, I can name them. There's yeah. a lot. Yeah. Today we're signing uh, one boy from Guiani. You know, can you imagine we signed, he came on Monday. He was, he came there with the taxis and the chairman was asking himself yes. what the taxi is going to do here, yeah. you know, just the board, just to come inside, you know. So people that side, they love football mm. and then it's good to have young boys from the area to develop, mm. to develop them. Unlike having most players outside the province that they're not going to give you anything, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So apart from the from the things that you're doing, what other measures are you are you doing to keep the obviously the young boy? You said you're gonna sponsor and everything. And uh, what are some of the measures you're taking to let them know that I- I- this can happen? Yeah, in uh, the province, within the province, within the province. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it gets difficult because of, uh, remember, young boys thinking I'm going to Baroga, <laughs> stage <laughs> yes. fright, those kind of things. You know, mm-hmm. you need to know how to manage them. You know, you <coughs> need to know how to lead them to to be to a professional players. You, you understand? Because yes, exactly. uh, as I'm saying, pro- players are very, are very are, are, could, could be naughty. You know, mm-hmm. uh, once they start having contract, they, they start changing their lifestyle. And mm-hmm. it's one thing that kills most of South African players. I can assure you. Forty uh, percent of our South African players, they're not playing through the their hearts. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. they're playing for money, for mm-hmm. lifestyle, you know, fancy cars and everything. And then you see them after their career get finished, they don't have nothing. Yeah. They start moving around, exactly, they start yes. looking to the teams. I'm looking for a job. Give give me contract. We've got a lot. Uh, mm-hmm. Remember, uh, one of our players that we signed from Black Lopat, uh, he came to Baroka, and then. After four or five games, then he said, no, Chiefs wants me. I remember <laughs> we spoke to him and said, my man, do you, that, do you want by coach or do you want by manager? Mm. You know, he exactly. said, no, 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 no. Hey, uh, this, the, the, the CEO there by at, at, at Chiefs wants me. We said, no, but if, if you want by the coach, it's, it's easier. Co- co- coach can play you. Yeah. But if you want by management, management, they're not going to play you. You just become a player you're on just the squad. Be, yeah, and then you get money, but you're going to get frustrated because you're not playing mm. and you're young. Mm-hmm. Unlike someone who's he's old and he knows that uh, now I'm playing for money, mm-hmm. uh, my career is done, you know, like mm-hmm. the likes of Tom Pekakana. Now he's just playing for fun of it. He's yeah. not playing for, 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 for money anymore he made money you know so it becomes a problem you need to start teaching them from the very young age you know that football comes <coughs> first they, they yes need to exactly make sure, yeah they are you are you doing workshops for this type of things yeah we do we do workshops we do workshop we mm-hmm. induct them when you know when you sign a contract i'll i'll, I'll refer it to, to to sundowns you know most people they, they're not aware that when Mutsipo was there at Sundowns. Yeah, what was going on is mm-hmm. that when you sign a contract, there's a certain percentage that the team they said oh, from your contract we're keeping it, we're investing it for you. You know, mm-hmm. even if you go mm-hmm. to another team, that certain amount is still there. Okay. You know, so you know, even if you go to 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 Chiefs, you go to there's a certain amount is at your investment to is look, there to look after you. To look after, after you. You know, so with our, with with our players, sometimes they listen when you talk to them, yes, and then exactly. you know they they will sit there. And they all say, ah, this one is crazy. <laughs> you know, he, yeah. why him? He didn't, you know, but there are others that they will listen to you, you know, and it's important to, to do induction with these players, you know. Yes, exactly. Mm. All right, uh, that's about it. Uh, thank you very much for coming through and uh, sitting down with us. Uh, Mr. Mashabani, no, hopefully. Uh, let him go quick. Mm-hmm. Sorry, sorry, Ronnie. <laughs> You said you played football. Um, what yes, position exactly. and what, <laughs> exactly. what, what number? We want to know that. We want to know. Because no. we're talking about number 10 uh, in junior uh-huh. league. So we want to know uh, where, where were you? No, I was a central defender. You know, yeah, you know I play mm-hmm. in, in Wednesday, Westelo. I play in Turkey. I school at a school of excellence. Okay. I was the same yeah, yeah, same class with uh, Pinar, uh, Sipo Nunez. Okay, quality uh, okay. Well. okay. Uh, Sean Pocket Pool, uh, Masilu Mudubi, Boy Boy Musia, uh, the late Jeffrey Nduka. Yeah. You know, those were, were, were my schoolmates, you know. Uh, oh, that's great. I remember stuff. Uh, 1997 where is when I got the contract in, in Belgium with mm-hmm. Delo. Uh, mm-hmm. We were playing KFC and then School of Excellence didn't want to release us in March. Mm-hmm. They said, no, we need to finish the matric before we come. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to study hard yeah. because of everyone wants to go see himself playing in yeah. Europe. Yeah, so Were you disciplined? 
<laughs> yeah, I nice was. Things uh, of the pitch. <laughs> no, no, I, I was disciplined, and uh, I, I thank my grandfather for that. You know, I didn't mm-hmm. had a fancy life when I was mm-hmm. playing. You know, because mm-hmm. I've never played in South Africa before. You know, my first contract was in Belgium when I, I started with we stayed in Belgium, and uh, when I came back, then is when I go to Ajax Cape Town. Uh, then I went to Supersport. Then I got injured. I said, ah, no, I'm tired. I'm tired. Soccer age, No, I'm fine. You can, you can guess. Uh, I think maybe I might be older than <laughs> anyone. <laughs> you know? All right. Uh, thank you for that one here. Okay. This is Bogot Radio. And uh, thank you. Hopefully, we can have you next time as well. Uh, obviously, after the match. Uh, obviously, you're going you're gonna to win. And yeah, uh, yeah, I, I just hope that, it's... Uh, <laughs> no, thanks for that. Don't change you it. Know, you're gonna win. <laughs> obviously, you're going to win. And uh, when you do win, you're going to come back here and tell us all about it. And hopefully, we can have some players also, you know, just to tell us what it was like. Yeah, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. how it's been like yeah. as well. All right, cool. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks so much. Thanks so this much. This is Bowman Man Radio. Enough. Enough.